Are you in need of FIFA 22 coins to improve your squad? Look no further than u7buy.com, offering some of the cheapest coins on the market, whilst being one of the safest and the most reliable websites around in the market today. Make sure as well, if you do go to the website, you use code VIPER at checkout to get yourself a discount. Let's get into the video. What is going on guys, Viper here, and welcome back to the second player review of the day, the second showdown of the day, Weston McKenney versus Marcelo Brozovic. Second one out is Brozovic. Now, if you've watched the McKenney review, you will know my thoughts on him. Make sure you go give that video a watch as well before we get into this one. This card is obviously the same requirements as McKenney. 86 rated squad and an 83 rated squad with an inform. Relatively expensive, probably coming in at somewhere like 200, 250k. Good opportunities for upgrades though. And if they do get upgraded, either one of them, they're going to be very interesting cards. Now, Brozovic is good for links. Obviously, he perfect links Perisic. If you're looking to do a hybrid squad, we've obviously got a full uh, Serie A squad here, but you can hybridize really, really well with that perfect link to Perisic. This card looks good as well. 5'11", medium, medium, three-star skills with a four-star weak foot, 85 pace, 84 dribbling, 78 shooting, 89 defending, 88 passing, and 88 physical. Let's look at his traits real quick. So he has the finesse shot trait, which is actually quite interesting because his shooting doesn't look the best at 78. He has, I don't know if I talked about this already, but he's medium, medium with a four-star weak foot, which is quite nice too. Um, obviously, the four-star weak foot on the midfielder, I personally think is really, really important to be able to pass on both feet. Something McKenney doesn't have with a three-star weak foot. Let's actually look at the attributes though. So, okay. They're not as good as I was expecting them to be. They are still good though. 86 acceleration with 84 sprint speed. Poor shooting across the board. He's got good long shots though. I thought this card looking at it was going to be a straight up CDM. But now I've seen his actual in games, I think he'd make a really, really good box to box. As you can see, you know, his, his shooting stats aren't good in the finishing area or the attack position and stuff isn't very good. But his long shots and shot power are decent with the finesse shot trait also. 88 vision from 94 short pass and 92 long pass. 87 curve boost up to 99 because of the finesse shot. Dribbling stats are actually really nice too with 84 agility and 89 balance. 81 reactions is quite low. 89 ball control, 81 dribbling, and 87 composure. Moving on to the defending stats. 91 interceptions, 80 head and accuracy, 87 defensive awareness, 91 stand tackle, and 90 slide tackle. Really, really good defensive stats there. Physicals are at 82 jumping, 99 stamina, brilliant. 78 strength, and then 99 aggression also. Really, really strange card in terms of the way the stats are split up. But it also looks really good. Now, my first thoughts were, play this card as a CDM. But I also do think, similar to what we've done with McKenney, um, I personally think the engine is probably the best chem style for him. Now, I have to go and buy one, because I did just use the last one on McKenney. So let me go and grab one real quick. Uh, yeah, it looks to be a good card, you know. Uh, obviously, we need to go into a game and see how he does perform in-game. But I'm, I'm interested in the card, you know. If you have watched my McKenney one, you'll know my thoughts on him and... Yeah, let's, let's, let's leave that for that video. Um, but what am I going to SBCs for? That's, that's stupid from me. Now, we'll drop down in here. Let's see what the engine gives him in terms of an upgrade. Now, obviously, if he gets a plus two as well, oh, my God. He is going to be crazy. Right, so the engine is applied. He's going up to 90 pace, 93 vision, 99 short pass, 97 long pass. Big boost with agility and balance, 89 agility and 99 balance. With a really important upgrade, in my opinion, to the dribbling stat, taking it up to 91 as well. This is a good card, guys. Has lots of potential. I'm hoping he plays well in game. We are going to play him as a centre mid. I really want to try out his finesse shots, considering he does have everything for finesse shots to be good on this card. Let's get into a game and see how we get on. All right, guys. Into the game we go with Brozovic. Let's see how we get... Oh, wow. Nice team. He's got Bamba, who I did actually pack today. Rio Ferdinand, Kimpembe. Very boring. Mendy, very boring. It's a relatively cool team, though. Uh, he's got that Gelson Martin still, which is very, very out outdated now. And that, that promo seems like it was an age ago. It probably was, to be honest. Right. Anyway, 45 minutes uh, live, and then we'll go into... Uh, we'll go into... Is he given a free win? Is he given a free win? No, he isn't. Is he? I can't tell what the hell's going on here. There's Brozovic already. Oh, unlucky. I like his body type. What on earth was he doing there? That looked like he was giving me a free win, didn't it? Interesting. Oh, that's so bad from me. 
Don't ever do that, what i just done there. No, it's been given as a foul as well, fair enough. He's played it straight to me and I've played it straight... Oh my god, no I haven't. Now that's, that's something that makes this card more valuable for me personally. Is the fact he perfect links uh, Perisic and he has the, the four star weak foot and he's able to play passes like that. That to me is extremely valuable. I'm into him here. It was good on the ball actually, which is surprising with how low his dribbling is. Oh my god, that's got to be a foul riff. That's got to be a foul. Uh oh. Hello, players. Where is my team at? Yeah, he scored that. Oh my god, he's bottled it. Nice. Okay. All right, Damian into Brozovic. Nice. Good turn from Brozovic there. He's got an okay sprint boost, actually, too. Wow, he, look, look how quick he is. Look at him go. Brozovic. Oh, unlucky. Okay, guys. Okay. Very, very, very good start from uh, Brozovic here. He's on the ball again here. I want I wanna, really want to try to get a finesse shot off of him. I'm not going to try and force it, though. Let's take it slowly. Find the right passes. This guy doesn't seem like the worst player in the world. He makes some incredible runs, to be fair to him, already. Right, here he is. Oh, that's unlucky. He's kept the ball, though. Okay, there it is. Mm, it's not bad. It's not bad. Doesn't seem like, uh, because of his shot power being quite low, they might not be too lucrative. Oh, come on, Zakaria. You're better than that, man. This is another dude that just wants to hit on the break, though, on all the time. And it's so frustrating to play against. Not to moan, um, but that's just the way it is, I suppose. Who's that there? Why is Darmy in there? Where's, where is Brozovic? Oh, he's down here covering. Oh, that's nice. Oh, his jockeying's actually really... Re Guys, this is the one. Nice. Yeah, this is 100% the one to do. Oh, look at him. Oh. Oh, my God. I'm impressed. Go on, then. Bangs that. Oh, my God. I've yellowed it. I should have just not, not bothered timing that. But it's, it's such a bad habit of mine now. I always time everything, you see. Now, I, I was, as I said to you at the start of the video, I was under the impression, looking at the, the base card stats, that this card would be a uh, CDM. But he's actually really, really nice going forward with his nice dribbling stats and it's good passing. He's a, he's a, definitely an asset for sure going forward. Now, sorry about the head glitch. That's just uh, the way it is. Oh, my God. What a pass that was. Pedro on the ball. Rozovic. Nice. Mkhitaryan. Oh, it's good defending, actually. Yeah, he just wants to counter-attack. It's quite boring, but... I guess that's what happens when you dominate the game, I suppose. He's just going to hit you on the break, right? So, nice. Pedro. Great pass from Pedro there. We're going to wait for Tammy here, if we can. I really like his dribbling, guys. I know it's quite low, like, on the actual dribbling stat. I know we put an engine on him. Lovely pass. That's good defending, to be fair. Brozovic is there. Couldn't get to that, though. How on earth is Mkhitaryan keeping that? Brozovic! Oh my god, off the bar. Off the post even. Oh my god, I thought Tammy missed it. This card is really nice, guys. Now, I know he's not the tallest at 5'11", but he looks tall in game, and he's got a nice body type. Can he find that? He has as well. I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm really, really liking this card. I can't even lie. Uh-oh. I like the aggression as well. That's that's you know, having ninety nine aggression is is really nice. If you can get that all over the pitch, you're sorted. They really do play for the badge at that point. I thought I defended that well there. Okay, nice. All right, we're out again. Look how nice and clean and and how well the ball sticks to him. And he's got a good sprint. What the hell is this card? And I hope he gets the upgrade. Holy smokes. He's there again. We're going to look for it. We're going to look for it. We're going to look for it. Bozovic off the post again. He's a post merchant. 
Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Find that. Yeah, nice. Back into you again. Sprint boost. He's worried about that finesse shot now. We're not going to play for it. Tammy. Oh, it's lovely from Tammy. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful from Tammy Abraham. It's 2-0. We're not even at half time yet. This guy's going to leave. Let's get into another game. Nice. Good header as well there. Oh, man. Oh, what a clean pass. Hold on, hold on. Keep running. No, Perisic, why'd you stop? All right, guys. So, review done on Brozovic. That guy actually ended up staying, which was really, really nice. This card is brilliant. He's so, so, so nice on the ball. Really nice dribbling. Really clean passing. Good body typing game. His aggression's incredible. His shooting's really, really good. This is the best of the two. I did not like McKenney. I'm going to tell you that now. Uh, I was not really too big a fan of him. But this card has blown me out of the water with how good he is. If he gets to plus two, wow. I think I'm actually going to play him in my team. He's that good for me. Offering that perfect link to Perisic as well is really, really nice. And I like this card a lot. We're going to waste no time. We're going to rate his stats out of 10. Pace, I'm going to give a 7 out of 10. He's not the fastest. That's one of the issues really only with him. He still is relatively quick. But, you know, he's not as fast as McKenny, for example. And he's not as fast as, you know, like your Zakarias, your Tonalis. He is still good, though. And he makes up for that in other areas that we'll talk about shortly. But he does have a long, like, slim body type in game. Which does make him... You know, he's, he looks quite tall, even though he's only 5'11", which is strange. But it does make him feel a bit faster than I think he actually is, um, even still. But really do like him in the pace department for what he is, really. Um, you definitely have other options for quicker players, though, in this area. Shooting, I'm going to give a 7 out of 10. Um, I do like his finesse shots, but, you know, shooting with him generally, if you're going through with him, he won't score goals for you. But his finesse shots are really nice. So he actually done two with him. They both went off the post. They were green timed. His finesse shots, the way he hits them, are really nice, though. Do like his shooting in that regard, for sure. Passing is going to be an 8.5 out of 10. Like his passing a lot. Good short passes, good over the tops, good through balls. Really well versed here. Now, in terms of his dribbling, I was actually really, really surprised here. He's really, really, really nice dribbling-wise. Feels very tight on the ball. Really clean dribbling. Really quick at jockeying, which is obviously really nice to have. Um, liked his jockeying a lot. General dribbling was really, really just surprising. Um, I couldn't believe it because his reactions are low. His dribbling stat is low. But he was brilliant in this category too. I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. I know it's only 84. Maybe it's the engine that was really helping him out here. But he was brilliant here. Moving on to the defending. Them defending stats are insane. This is another 9 out of 10. He's brilliant in this category as well, man. Unreal. Really, really sticky tackles as well. Which is obviously nice to have. Um, interceptions are good. Defensive awareness and AI generally is really good here too. Physicals, this is going to be a 9 out of 10 also. Now, the reason I'm going to give this one a 9 out of 10, and some of you guys might not understand why I'm going to do this, that aggression stat makes players so good in the midfield. They're so aggressive. They're all over the pitch all the time. Um, and that stamina as well also really helps that. Um, you know, they can go for a 420 minutes, and the aggression is just awesome to have. It is a bit weak. I will give him that. He is a little bit weak. But if you can get beyond that, this card is unbelievable. Jumping as well. He's actually quite good in the air. I did have a few opportunities to head with him. Or head the ball with him, sorry. Um, and he was good there too. This card is brilliant. Make sure you complete this one if you're going to do one of the two. I promise you this card's better. The perfect link to Perisic is also really nice if you've done him. Also, 9 out of 10 from me. Brilliant card. Hope he gets the upgrade. But guys... If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, turn on the bell so you never miss a player review. But guys, this is going to be it from me for now, so take care.